Okay, so from starting from the screen, whatever screen you're on, type in www.ustaclubs.com. That'll take you to this screen here. You select member login if you already have an account, which I do. I log into my account. And now what I want to do is I want to select my club. When you select your club, you have the ability to edit or just look at all of the coaches you have in your program, which I have entered in all the information. It stores it there until I don't need it. If you need to edit, you can select this little orange button. And you can go down and you can make any kind of changes. Then you have all of your athletes. You can sort them for your preference by looking at them by first name, last name, the auto calculation age, if you want. If you're looking for a particular person, search by gender, see how many boys you have, I suppose. Here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven boys in the program. You can see here I've got some maintenance to do. So today I'm going to work on updating my pending USTA and AAU numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go online. I'm going to purchase these. Do the AAU first. And then the USTA, and then I'll go in every single one of them, and I'll go down to where I put the word pending, and I'll replace it with the current number that is their their um, their number because you have to have a current number in order to go to a USTA or AAU sanctioned meet. When I'm done, simply save and return. And go through each one of those until I end up with numbers like here as you see. Once I have all those done, I go up here to my club, drop down to the entry form, select the entry form, and one of the things that we are working on is we are going to change this so that it is easier to locate the meets. I prefer to put in the meet date, March 7th, under the C Invitational for my meet. But what we're going to do is we're going to have the date, the state, the club hosting, and then the name of the meet. So it's just quicker to identify what you're looking for. So that is the next update coming soon. Once I select the meet that I'm going to, it'll bring up all the pertinent data. It'll bring up the data about how much the meet entry fees are, bring up the meet date, brings up my sanction numbers, you select the, the kids that are coming to the meet, make sure their levels are correct and the events that they are doing are correct. Scroll down to the bottom, select click here to generate your meet. Once you generate your meet, a PDF will pop up. Once the PDF is generated, it's recommended. All you have to do is print it out or view it first, and it will automatically calculate if they're doing three events three events is 55. It'll automatically calculate that. I think all of my kids but maybe one are doing three events. If you ever want to find a, um, a name of somebody, you can do the function key control F. And that's a find function. So let's say I'm looking for Nicole. And you'll see here it puts Nicole's name up in a highlighted blue right here. I look over here, and there's $50. So that's the athlete I was thinking is only doing one event. 
So that control F is a nice, nice way to identify if you're looking for something very quickly, if you have a lot of athletes. Now, when you're done with that, if you put your mouse down to this area, you'll see what pops up is some options in Adobe Acrobat. What I would recommend you to do first is to um, print it. After you've printed it, you're going to want to uh, review it. If it is correct, then you can save it. Save it to wherever it is that you typically save things. And then you'll email it to your um, host. And again, eventually, we're going to have a function where the moment that you save and approve, then it will be sent to, um, to the meet host. But the problem with doing that now is, is too many people are saving before they review. So it doesn't make sense to send them a file that's not really ready. But what does happen behind the scenes is if you have Universal Master Score and you're going to be hosting a meet, if you select on that meet, and I'm going to go pull up all the clubs that are going to be coming to my meet. What happens is, is if you've created a PDF by accident, you'll see here I've got some really cool clubs. I've got Iowa coming all the way to Georgia, Illinois coming all the way to Georgia, another Illinois, which I'm really excited about. But the problem is, is these clubs are really not coming to me. I just happen to know that. So when I go to import all of my clubs that are going to be coming to my meet, I will select them. And the reason I know this is because we received in the mail a hard copy with their check of everyone coming to our meet. So then when I import the clubs, they'll come into the, into the system and then I'll have all my clubs information and then at that time I'll create the reports for a particular club so that I can send them out their meet report or their coaches report so that gives you an example of how the system works just at a glance. More to come.